Hi, welcome to Get Ready for University channel. I'm Ewe Fionn, a school liaison officer, and uh, we're here to talk about all the, kind of the IT help and tips and tricks and hacks you can use while you're at university. If we start off, kind of like if you think about stuff for self organisation before you go on to actually looking at any lectures or academic stuff, you know, you're looking kind of sync your timetable to your own calendar so yeah. that you can check it on your phone or you can just check it on your computer quickly. So that you know on. when you've got lectures. Um, as well, make sure that your uni emails are synced to your phone. Just generally having an alarm so you wake up at <laughs> 9 o'clock lectures. I've made the mistake of not for my first 9 o'clock, I think. I think I accidentally missed it, but let's skip over that bit. Um, <laughs> you can get like created alarms, so if you've grown to just like snooze, you can get alarms that like really shout at you or you have to like shake your phone and stuff well, like that. Or ones that are on the other side of the room, just have it yeah. on the other side of the room <laughs> so you have to get up and turn it off. Then we can kind of go to the academic stuff. So while you're at lectures or while you're revising maybe. So when you're in lectures, lots of people like to use dictaphones or any recording app that they have on their phone. Uh, you can get ones that just sit up by themselves. You can turn it on at the start of the lecture. It'll record for say the hour or two hours, however long it is. And then we get it home, plug it into the computer, it will download and you can listen to it in your own time. Yeah, it's a good idea to let your lecturers know that you're doing that though. Yeah, maybe at the start, at the yeah. very first year when you first have a, a certain module, ask them if it's alright maybe. But lots of uh, universities have their own websites that yeah. they put the lecture slides up afterwards. <laughs> I'm professional. It's my landlord. Hello? Alright, yeah. Cheers, bye. Another good tip is flying <laughs> mode so that you don't get phone calls when you've got lectures or when you're filming YouTube videos. My landlord always rings me <laughs> during my lectures or during anything. <laughs> Also, lots of universities have websites where they'll put up their PowerPoints or their PDF documents after, after a lecture so you can check up and you can store them all when you get to revision. But you should still go to your lectures. Oh, definitely go to your lectures. There's stuff that they'll say. Yeah. If you just have the PowerPoints, there's stuff that they say that isn't necessarily on the PowerPoints. Every lecture is different and some will have minimal information on the PowerPoint and you've got to, maybe that's then the best time to record their voice so you can link it together. Um, another good tip is when you're walking to your lectures or if you're meeting somebody or if you're getting the bus to lectures or something like that, you can actually uh, download um, apps or programs where you can get audiobooks on your phone. Um, so if you've got like a 15 minute walk, if you're going to a lecture, if you're waiting for a lecture to start, you can actually get some reading done yeah. while, you're, while you do that. That definitely works well with English subjects yeah. you've got to keep on top of books. Spot so the English graduate. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's kind of all the revision stuff afterwards and the assignments that you've got to get, get hold of. And kind of, if you have apps that remind you or you can put in when your, uh, when your assignments are due. And also um, put in a reminder two weeks before it's due rather than just one on the date that yeah. it's due. Even if it's a reminder just to get started. Yeah. Because I've had that problem many times. Yeah. And what I used to do is I used to have like a reminder to get started and then a reminder that you should be halfway through. Then if I wasn't I'd feel really guilty. Another really good tip is if you're really bad at kind of um, starting to do some work and then you get distracted by social media. Um, you can actually get websites where you choose um, to block certain sites for a certain amounts of time. Um, and I actually got one and then I thought, right, I've blocked myself from going on these websites on this internet provider, so I'll try another one. But you can get some that blocks everything. Yeah. So there's nothing apart from the essay writing. Even block YouTube, even though you're watching this, block YouTube. <laughs> Unless it's, to, unless it's educational. Unless it's educational. Saving stuff on uh, on shared drives, internet drives, is very useful as well. I live off there so I can, no matter where I am on my phone, on my tablet, on my computer, if I've got it saved on there, I can access it from wherever and I can work on it. Even if you go down to like a coffee shop, take a laptop or tablet or whatever, you can just carry on working there, go up home and carry on working there. What you'll find often is if you're a new student, it's useful, and if you're a student that's leaving university, it's useful. There are websites where you can give your stuff away for free. 
Um, so maybe your friends and family have given you like chairs and things like that to take to your house while you're at uni and then you're leaving and you go back home and you don't need them anymore or you can sell them up on these websites on these apps and somebody who needs furniture yeah. or just needs general stuff can take them for free. Even with books, getting yeah. second hand books at home in your first year, getting second hand book, the only advantage first hand books tend to have is when they have a special online feature. Yeah. And if you don't necessarily need to use that, it's just better to get a cheaper second hand book. There are lots of shops, lots of websites. eBay is great, even for selling. The amount of stuff you accumulate over, say, like first year that you don't need yeah. when, when there's a big group of you and you don't need them later and you want to make up some money back, that's very useful. I've done that quite a bit over my three years yeah. to get some money back in my pocket. If you're getting ready for university and you want to get a feel for what a university is like that you're looking at, maybe subscribe to them. Lots of them will have maybe Instagram or they'll have Twitter, they'll have Facebook, and they'll put up pictures, they'll put up links to other things, yeah. maybe student led things. And forums, some kind of, there's lots of student led forums. Is it Student yeah. Room? Yeah, Student Room is quite a good one. There's lots of discussions there. You might also find if you know where you're going to be living in the university, there might be like a Facebook group yeah. where everybody's going to be living in that hall. You could get to know the people that you're going to be living with. Yeah, just general chats as well. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and get to see more of these beautiful videos.